These days, we've sort of entered what a lot of people refer to as the era of digital biology. Biology is so complex that really using computing is the only way we can really hope to fully understand it. The impact's really, hopefully, with the patients. And obviously that's got profound implications for human health and disease. If you look at medicine, for example, um, there we're moving into, into the world of what we call systems medicine, and that is trying to create a, a complete, complex model of the whole of a disease or the whole of, a, of an organ. We're actually modelling the interaction between different biological components. The data which is available to us is, is sort of fresh from the lab. We use mathematical tools, we use statistics, we use computer modelling. If we combine our computational techniques and that data, then we have the ability to come up with some sort of groundbreaking research. You have to integrate all of these different threads to actually come up with a coherent understanding of the system. The end result that we hope to see in the future is improved treatments for diseases.